morning. It's about 7.30. We've got about eight miles to go. Um, a couple of things happened last night after I signed off. Uh, first and foremost, my, my granddad was taken to the ER last night. He was having uh, back and stomach pains. And uh, they did a CAT scan and uh, or a CT scan. And uh, he they... They diagnosed him with diverticulitis, which my my mother-in-law's had that before. Uh, it's uh, if I remember right, it's 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 like a a bleeding of the intestines and in, intestines. Um, but they had to take him to another hospital because uh, where where my aunt lives, who he lives with at the moment. Um, she's kind of up in a rural area and they had to take him to a bigger hospital uh not real worried about the the problem uh as i am with him being in the hospital with all this crap going on uh and he's like 96 so yeah so please keep him in your thoughts i'd appreciate that and the other thing that happened was they didn't get me into this service until about 10 20 last night i sat here for almost five and a half hours actually it was five and a half hours waiting on them to to get me in for service and it was like 11 30 before they got done man uh, it's it you, and you really can't relax when when you're waiting on them to give you a call to bring your truck in right so that was a little bit of a pain in the butt uh but we're about eight miles from where we need to be or five miles from where we need to be and we'll be there in just a few minutes so let's go all right so we are here and we're at uh brant farm stuff we make like farm equipment or something well what sucks about this place is uh all this tarp's got to come off on this one because it spans the the length of the trailer they might have to put it all back on get to Chicago. So let's go. So they've got theirs off. Empty all the way up to the back. Or all the way back to the back. Uh, those four are going to Chicago. Got to be there at 1 o'clock. And I'm going to secure these a little bit different. I'm going to put a belly wrap on the front and the back. And then a couple of uh, straps in between. And then one tarp and we'll be on our way. Alright, so... This is how I've got it secured. Belly wrap, belly wrap, and three in between. 7,000 pounds, plenty of securement. We'll get a tarp, get on our way. We are all tarped up and ready to go. I'll see you at the uh, next customer. Issue number one is when I looked up the address because our GPS didn't our our uh, we didn't have an address for this company in our system so when I looked up the address and put the address in the address was wrong it took me down down in a residential area luckily I didn't turn down any of those roads just pulled off on the side of the road and called them found out I was about six miles away So that's what we're doing now, is we're going, trying to get there. Issue number two is everybody drives crazy in Chicago. Like, really crazy. Guess he's got to get across the street. Although there's a crosswalk right there. Lord. Oh, well, we'll get there pretty soon. We'll get unloaded. Get the heck back out of Chicago before I catch something. Oh, these roads down here. That, so this place is on the south side of Chicago. Man, last time I was on the south side of Chicago, I was in the Navy. Uh, out of, right out of boot camp in school and uh, 
me and about two other guys decided we were we were gonna go hang out in Chicago for the night and somehow ended up at a warehouse party down here in the south side. I don't know how we got there, but we got there. And we were in uniform. That was great. You know, young and stupid, dumb, probably shouldn't have been down here at all. But you know, you get out of boot camp and you think you're invincible. And for those of y'all that don't know, you should not be down on the south side of Chicago. <laughs> I was going to get over that lane, but I don't guess I would. Because the south side used to be pretty rough. Mom always told me, you don't want to be in south Chicago. We found it. That's a big, old, man, this place takes up a lot of room. I bet this, this property's worth millions in this city. I mean, I bet this thing takes up two city blocks easily. Full blocks. Full blocks. There's lots of people out here, though. Apparently, they're getting lots of deliveries. I'm waiting in line to get checked in. But uh, I'll let you know where we're going after. Oh, so we got a load at this steel place. And uh, first time I've been here. And this load is going to somewhere in Alabama. A, uh, should just be one coil. So we'll get in here and see what uh, see what what's what. So I'll get back to you in a minute. Oh, so this place is huge and I do appreciate that they have that they have signage telling you where to go so I have no idea uh, so what I was going to say was uh, uh, the guy I talk to every day said that uh, he was talking to uh, couple of Maverick drivers that watch my videos and he was showing them how to put how to put a tarp on a tall coil uh, okay I gotta go forward okay 6083 on a tall coil because you have to you have to kind of you have to kind of make a present on the sides you know you kind of have to butterfly them in um, and they were saying I don't so show stuff like that if you want to see something Put it down in the comments. Um, <laughs> that was a weird sign. Got a splinter in some dude's ear or eye. That's <laughs> weird. Uh, but yeah, if there's something specific you want to see, uh, want me to do, uh, put it down in the comments. That's the only way I know what you want. I don't mind showing you. I just gotta have it in the comments so I know. But I'm gonna get off here and I'm gonna find my door. Got my coil. It's a wide one, that's for sure. Uh, I would show it to you, but they don't want our cell phones outside the truck. So, it is what it is. I'm gonna go over here, park, and get, get tarped up secure it up the rest of the way get our butts down the road yep yeah
sure I'm out of everybody's way. There we go. Man, I am like in, I guess, St. John's, Indiana. Now you couldn't tell people were supposed to be locked at home here. There's all kinds of people out. Walmart was full. Menards was full. Lowe's was full. Uh, Myers was full. People out at the tracks walking around. Traffic everywhere. Hey man, get your spuds at home. Target parking lot over there is full. Y'all do not need to be out. Go home. Sit at home. <laughs> quarantine, quarantine. I'm done. <laughs> so I am on Highway 63 in Indiana. And I found the only truck stop on this road until Terre Haute, which is about 50 miles away. I still had an hour 20 on my clock, but I couldn't chance not having a place to stay because that was gonna that was gonna get down almost into my, you know, time to stop driving. So I found this place and look, you see back there? Man, I didn't even back that in. I just pulled it straight in because there's nothing. I mean, it's just just there's nothing in front of us at all so I'll just be able to back back out in the morning without any problems so there was a guy jockeying for, for a spot and I was like yeah I think I just pulled I came right off the road pulled right back in and, pull, and pulled right in but uh, that's going to be it for tonight uh, I'm going to go in here and do some stuff and we'll see y'all tomorrow <laughs>